have a great day at 9 a. I'm Caitlin Francis. And I'm Mike Slifer. Scott and Nicole are off today. Great to be back with you. Yeah, nice to have you back. Yesterday was so much fun. We thought we'd do it again. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get a check on that forecast in just a few minutes, Mike, because obviously everybody's talking about Hurricane Idalia. It just made yes. landfall a couple hours ago uh, on Florida's um, western coast, right? Yes, along the Gulf Coast there. Yep, so uh, obviously that's something we'll talk about shortly. But first, let's get just a check on some of those headlines because a looming bus strike in Meriden is causing major concerns concern for families. Students head back to school today there, but bus drivers could go on strike Friday if a new contract deal isn't set. Negotiations have been ongoing since May. There has been little progress, though. So the leader of the drivers union, Teamsters Local 671, says the contract offered by New Britain Transportation is the, quote, worst contract he's ever seen, end quote. Some drivers we spoke with say they're already short staffed, adding their routes are taking double the time due to picking up more students. Now, we are still waiting on a response from Meriden superintendent and as any new information comes into the newsroom here whether it's the plan for students if the bus drivers do strike or a new deal we will of course have it for you on air here and the channel 3 app students in West Hartford are back to class today as well a very exciting time of year channel 3 eyewitness news reporter Roger Susanna was there for the first day and explains why the district is celebrating a big honor well, it's finally here, the first day of school in West Hartford. And you know, today, students, parents, and teachers have an extra reason to feel proud of their districts, as both local high schools here in West Hartford were just honored for their overall excellence. Listen to this, it's pretty cool. Just recently, the education website, Niche, ranked both Conard High School and Hall High School among the top 20 high schools in the entire state. And U.S. News and World Report also named both West Hartford High Schools as part of their top 20. West Hartford, by the way, is the only Connecticut community with two public high schools to rate that highly. But district leaders tell us they are not going to just rest on their laurels here in West Hartford. And coming up later today, we're going to discuss the changes that parents and students can expect to see this semester. Reporting in West Hartford, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, as mentioned, of course, we are keeping on top of Hurricane Idalia. It made landfall about 745 this morning as a Category 3. Yes, uh, certainly an impressive storm. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, it weakened just a bit before landfall. The National Hurricane Center says the maximum sustained winds were as high as about 125 miles per hour. All right, so let's take a look at that radar now, Mike. Um, this is what it looks like right now. So it's still obviously 125 miles per hour. I mean, that was weakened from her... Uh, uh, What's, what am I trying to say? Category four. Thank you. Yes. From a category three. So still, I mean, this is catastrophic. Yes, and this is one of those times when the category uh, doesn't necessarily equate to damages. Mm -hmm. They were already feeling the impacts from the storm while it was still category four. Uh, so, you know, storm surge flooding a huge issue, wind damage a big issue, mm -hmm. heavy rain, and in those outer bands, there were tornado warnings uh, ongoing through parts of Florida this morning, and those are still ongoing in parts of Georgia and the Carolinas now. Okay, so we're taking a live look now. Thousands of people have been evacuated. Experts are warning possibly catastrophic storm surge, as Mike just mentioned, along with heavy rain. And then, uh, Mike, you just mentioned as well as possible tornadoes. So this is a live look here uh, in Florida. That storm surge is obviously going to be a huge concern for the remainder of today and potentially into the coming days too. Yes, unfortunately, this seems like one of those stories that will be evolving over the next several days and we will begin to uh, hear more about it. And locally, uh, you know, things are a bit wet here mm -hmm. too. We're not dealing with anything nearly as significant as Idalia, of course. On uh, First Alert Live Radar, though, we do have some showers that are passing through the state right now, a bit of a heavier downpour approaching the Route 8 corridor, Naugatuck River Valley. Uh, but otherwise, things are still fairly light across uh, the state. Now, moving forward in time, we actually clear things out and we're expecting temperatures today to top out near 80 degrees. It's not a very nice morning out there, but it should be a beautiful afternoon the rest of the day featuring increasing sunshine. There's those high temperatures right around 3 o'clock. And then uh, later on this evening, 
given the clearing skies, temperatures will fall back rather quickly. So here's uh, first alert future cast. Not much to chat about once we get past noon today. Increasing sunshine, clear skies tonight and uh, tomorrow we could see just a little bit of high cloud cover try to work its way in tonight. You know, is also the uh, super moon, the blue moon, the second full moon of the month. Tomorrow looking like a just 10 out of 10 day stellar, mostly sunny, less humid highs in the 70s. A cool start Friday around 50 degrees before we end up back near 80 in the afternoon. So uh, certainly a, a good day of weather. If you want to maybe spend tomorrow evening indoors, though, there's something really cool going on tomorrow, a special yes. tribute set for uh, to honor Bob Barker. Yeah, this is so nice. CBS is remembering the iconic Price is, Rice, Price is Right host with a primetime special. Now, obviously, we've been talking about this for days now because Bob Barker died over the weekend at the age of 99. The tribute will look back at his career, the debut of the game Plinko, and Barker's return to the Price is Right for his 90th birthday. This all airs tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, and then if you miss it tomorrow, you can catch it at 11 o'clock in the morning, right in time for The Price is Right on Labor Day. So I think, I mean, who didn't watch The Price is Right growing up? Comfort right? show. You're it homesick like, from school. Exactly. And you turn on the TV. Yeah. Maybe every now and again, you, you know, you cuddled up with a nice big hot bowl of soup. Yeah. And there it is, Bob best. Barker. Yeah, it was the best. And we talked about it yesterday morning as well. It was part of Renee's Hollywood headlines because he's giving so much of his estate back to animal animal advocacy groups and rescue organizations. So that's where his legacy will remain. And it's very nice that CBS is honoring him. Absolutely, it is. It'll certainly be a great uh, thing to tune in mm -hmm. and watch. I'm moving.